Good morning all, Camelback Trading 2724 and the pitfuturestrading.com coming to you this Wednesday morning, January 22nd. We're looking at the last two or three days of the market profile on the SPY ETF on Window Trader. And after a one day breather <laughs> that puts the daily in balance, the bulls say, okay, let's continue our assault to all time highs as we're looking to gap higher again, as we've put in our all-time high in the pre-market again, as they try to distance themselves from the last two days to all-time highs. All right, let's go over destinations and a game plan. So now, just under an hour to go prior to the opening, we had 10 wide at 331.42. That is going to be a downside destination now, <clears throat> since we're opening almost a dollar above it. Our afternoon rally highs being taken out, 331.76. I'll still use yesterday's high of 332.18 as our first destination. I'll use it on both sides of the equation in case we gap higher. And then as of right now, 332.75, which is our pre-market all-time high. For the downside, again, yesterday's high of 332.18 will be your first destination if we gap above it. Then until we get more market-generated information, it will be 331.42, which is 10 wide. Yesterday's low of 330.82, and then 330.24, which was the top of the price probe from January 16th. Game plan for this morning. Well... We've probably said this more times than not, gap rules apply. So if we gap higher, be looking to buy calls because I certainly know my out, right? Especially around this level. Now, again, there's about an hour to go. We're only 20 cents or so higher than yesterday's high. So if we open that close to the opening, I might wait to see if the gap fills right away and then we come back out of it. I prefer on a gap of about 40 to 50 cents higher than the previous day's high for a couple of reasons. It gives you a little more room to have it come in without filling, and it's not that far away where you can get an inventory adjustment and take it down a dollar or more if you went long right away. So 20 cents or so, I might wait to see if this gap gets filled right away. But between 40 and 50 cents, if we're to open high, I would get on board with a call most likely right away. Okay? No put play right now. Again, if we're to gap higher or don't gap higher, but we take out yesterday's high, right? Remember, it's a weak high. It's the same high as Friday's, so it's weak. If we were to open, fill the gap, and then get accepted back below EF and H's high, then you can take a put position because you know you're out. If you come back, if you come back up and take out the uh, the high, I'm out. But if you don't take it out, odds are you're going to trade trade back down to the park from yesterday. So that would be the only put play I would look at. And again, the call play, depending on the size of the gap, I would buy it, buy calls out if the gap fills. So early game plan for this morning. And then chart wise. I'm just going to show you the daily for now. Again, we're in balance right now, two-day balance. We're looking to come out of it again to the upside. You want a trend. If, if, you, if you're a buyer, you want the trend to continue to get distance away from previous months, weeks, and days highs. So again, we've been doing that since the end of September. When we gapped lower, gapped higher the next day, we left, an, you know, talk about an island top. We left that day all by itself on the bottom. And since then, right, we've gone up, balanced, up, balanced, up, balanced. It's been nothing but basically a staircase up since the end of September from the 307 level. And we're up $25 from that point. So until that changes, you're going to be looking to come out of balance to the upside, which we're attempting to do today. Good luck trading today. Have a great day, and we'll recap at 4 p.m.